Hello, friends. It's Jennifer with One Crafty Sister. And I am here tonight to share an adorable card with the More Than Autumn Bundle. Let me know as you tune in where you're tuning in from. As I let this, just checking to make sure we're live in the right spot that everything looks okay. It looks okay, yep, okay. So my computer decided to do an update, so we are just on the iPhone tonight, but that is a-okay. It just means that I can't show my face to you right now. Um, so anyway, hello, my name is Jennifer with One Crafty Sister, and I come here every Tuesday night to share a fun project with you. Um, or two or three, just depends. This week I have an adorable card featuring the More Than Autumn uh, bundle, and I love this bundle. This is my card club bundle this month, so if you are registered for my card club, then we are gonna use this, this bundle this month. And if you didn't get registered, I'll let you in on a little secret. If you register tonight, um, I can still squeeze you in for this awesome card club you are going to love all the projects if you love fall if you love cute if you love um if you just love making cute cards you're going to want to make sure you're signed up for this card club you can either come to it in person in my gainesville studio or i can ship the kit to you you will need um, your own stamps and dies the coordinating dies um, and your own inks um, and stampin blends but the rest of the product will be sent to you. So let me know that you're here. Drop a little hello in the comments. Um, and let's get crafting. Oh, before I get crafting, there is a special tomorrow night or that starts tomorrow. It's called free shipping because I can't show you on my face. Look at this. Free shipping tomorrow. Woohoo! Tomorrow, um, on s orders of $75 or more, that you qualify for that with a customer order or a demonstrator order, um, and you can place your order. Hello, Karen. Um, you can place your order at the link below in the video description, but you are going to want to take advantage of that. We all love some free shipping. Okay. So let me show you the card that I'm gonna make for you today. Um, this card, again, features the More Than Autumn bundle, and it features some of that Latte Love car, uh, designer series paper. And I just love, if I could just have a whole pack of this plaid paper from that, I would be so happy. So nothing's better than pumpkin season. So cute. Um, I've been using a lot of white lately on cards, and so I've been inspired by kind of big chunks of white. Um, but we've got this embossed with the uh, distressed tile embossing folder. Um, but let's make this cute card. Okay. We are going to start out with a pecan pie card base. It is eight and a half long by five and a half and it is scored at four and a quarter so we're going to go ahead and fold that for our card base okay and we need a few other things that i have here we need a piece of white basic white cardstock for the inside there we need a piece of designer series paper. So this is that adorable coffee paper. This is the plaid design that's in there. If you haven't seen this paper, it's super cute. Um, it is called a little latte. Um, and there are so many fun patterns, as you can see. Coffee cups, coffee beans, coffee uh, designs, like um, whip designs. Uh, just all kind of cute patterns. You can see I've used it a lot. 
Um, this is great even for like scrapbooking. If you have uh, toys, if you have outdoor toys like four wheelers, motorcycles, uh, four by fours, this is mud, this is coffee, but this is also mud. So great use in your scrapbook layouts. Just lots of fun patterns in here, but I love this one right here. Um, it's just so stinking cute. This paper back in its home. Okay. Got a little strip of Lost Lagoon here. We're gonna do some assembly, but we have some stamping and die cutting to do. So maybe we'll do all of that first. Um, I've got some pieces here to stamp on. And then I wanna show you one of my favorite products that I'm gonna use here, which is our adhesive sheets. And if you haven't, um, if you don't have any of these in your arsenal yet, you need to get a pack of this in your next order. So these are adhesive sheets. They're six by 12. Mine is curled because I actually have them laying in a drawer and I took them out of the packet that they come in. I just need to leave them in the packet and they would not get curled up like this, um, but they work fine. So don't worry, even if it happens to yours, um, it, they work just fine. And so what this is, is, um, and it, a double-sided adhesive here that you can apply to the back of your cardstock and you can make stickers out of your cardstock. So I'm going to do that um, on a piece of Lost Lagoon here for some die cuts. So what you would do is um, I like to just take and kind of measure my cardstock that I have here just to see. So this is... Uh, we're gonna do one and a quarter inch. I usually try to make it slightly shorter because I don't want this to be sticking out and getting adhesive all over my um, acrylic plates for my stamp and cut and emboss. Um, you just wanna, it'll help you keep it a little clean. So what you do is there are two perforations in here. I don't know if you can see this. Two perforations. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of lift it so that one comes apart and take one piece off. And I'm just going to stick it up here and kind of press it down on my paper. And then I'm just gonna turn it over, kind of roll this one out to be able to pull that. And that's actually all I need right now, so I might not even take that off. Let's see, I'm just gonna do a little snip there. Okay, so I have that adhesive sheet on there, and now I'm gonna take my pumpkin season dies. They have a little bit of Hard stuff left in them so let me clean it out real quick and I'm gonna cut out my little pumpkin season Oops. this is one of my favorite um, tips on the take your pick tool it's kind of like a dental tool it works really well for all kind of things it's my fave it's my fave Okay, so I'm gonna bring my cotton emboss here. And cut out this. And I'll show you how cool it is. So you're gonna cut that out just like you would any other die cut image. You're just placing, making your sandwich with your cardstock and then the die on top. And now these are going to be stickers, which is awesome. 
for so many reasons. Number one, it's so hard to use liquid glue on tiny die cuts. You get glue everywhere, you just make a mess. Um, but also, it helps with really good, precise placement. Um, so it just, you can use this with alphabets, um, any detailed dies, you name it. So, all right, let's go ahead and stamp our images. We need a few images stamped. We're gonna stamp in our Memento Tuxedo Black. We're going to stamp one coffee cup. One little pumpkin. And we're gonna stamp some marshmallows and a straw. Have a little bit of coloring to do. So I have some Stampin' Blends here. I have Lost Lagoon, Pecan Pie, and one uh, Light Pool Party. Now, if you've ever been to my house, you might know that this color is kind of like a color that I have featured in my decorations at home. So I was like, oh, I need to use these colors and I love a teal pumpkin. So that's why I chose, instead of making an orange pumpkin, to make a teal pumpkin because I like those. So I'm just kind of coloring in with my dark pecan pie. I'm not being real specific. I am trying to shade a little darker over here, but you can see just kind of coloring it in. And I like to go with dark first and then come back with my lighter. Um, there's no wrong or right way. You can do your light first and come back and shade with your dark. Okay. All right. So that is my cup. Let's go ahead and color in some of my pumpkin. I just kind of went dark on the outside to lighter on the inside. I'm also using the Lost Lagoon to color some of the stripes in the straw. And then this is Light Pool Party that I'm coming in with. Kind of finish. I'm just kind of blending them all together, lightening it, lightening it a little bit. Okay. So now we need to cut these out. So we have our dies that we need here. Got some handy dandy three times used green tape over here. We're going to use it again. <laughs> use it until it doesn't work anymore. Oops, a little close. So we can cut them all out at once. And then we will get some assembly done. You can use washi tape for this. You can use the um, scotch tape that's the less sticky kind. That works well also. So I'm gonna run that through our stamp and cut and emboss. Hello, Tara. Hello, Tracy. Nice to see you guys.
especially you, Tara. Happy birthday. It's your birthday today. I hope you have had a great day and I hope someone has spoiled you at some point today. Okay. Let's put these up so I don't lose them. Because that would not be good. Put our pumpkin season dies over here. All right. Now we have all of our little pieces of all our things that we need to put our cute card together. So let's start with the inside. I'm just gonna kind of do the easy part first. I'm gonna go ahead and give some adhesive. Here this to the inside. And remember the pumpkin season that I cut out. So now what I can do is I can go back here and peel the paper backing off gently. And then you can stick it in place. Cute. You can use your take your pick tool. Also, wherever those um, score lines or those cut lines are in it are also easy places to peel it apart. Um, but it comes apart pretty easy, as you can see. Didn't have too hard of a time. Okay, so there's my pumpkin season on the inside. We're gonna go ahead and take an adhere our designer series paper. Now, if you would like the measurements for this card, this project, a full tutorial, just comment tutorial under here, or make sure that you're on my email list. I will be sending this out tomorrow to everyone on my email list, so you will get this. Um, as well as the link to the replay for the video. So you will have this to come back to. Okay, I have a piece of basic white cardstock and remember I told you I embossed it with the um, distressed tile embossing folder, which is one of my favorites. Karen, you're on my email list, so you know you're gonna get it. You know already. Okay, so I'm going to pop this up on some dimensionals. Let's see, I got a sheet that's almost at the end. There is something satisfying about using a full sheet of dimensionals and throwing that away. I don't know what it is, but there is. Do you ever feel that way? Like, oh yes, I got through another sheet of dimensionals. <laughs> or am I the only weird one? <laughs> okay. All right, oh, I have ink all over my hands. I better be careful with this white cardstock. Okay. So there is the base of our card front. Now we need to do some applying. Now these dies come from the Wildflower Design dies, and I love these. So they coordinate with the Wildflower Designs stamp set, but I love these layering dies here. So if you love layering shapes, um, even if you don't really want the stamp set, these dies are worth it just for these. Um, but 
The stamp set is very pretty as well, and I love the sentiment. Sending happy thoughts, you've been on my mind, and thank you. So these are great, plus I love the font. But I'm using these two here. And I'm gonna start with the frame. I am going to apply it to the card using some glue dots. And the reason why I'm doing that is because, see all those detail little notches and things in there? Um, if I try to put liquid glue on there, it's going to squirt out of all those little lines. Um, so we don't want to do that. So this is a good time to just come in and use a bunch of glue dots in the corners to just secure that on your project. Okay. It's stuck to my finger. Okay, so there's that. This is going to get our nothings better than. Now this is a little bit more delicate for some reason than the others um, because they're smaller and a couple of the letters wanna pull a different way. Okay, let's see. Let's make sure. Everything out of the centers. Let's... Okay, so now I'm take and use my take your pick tool just to kind of place it so it's not all stuck to my fingers. And if it's a little crooked, you can kind of push it into its proper placement. Okay, so we have nothing's better than, we're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of that real quick. card front. This would probably also be very cute with this card stock here instead of the white because you would be able to see that plaid peek out there. That would be cute. That would be super cute. Okay. I've got my little pieces for my hot cocoa or my apple cider or whatever it is that is your fall drink of choice. Um, I need a little mini dimensional here for the back of my pumpkin. It's gonna go right there. And then I'm gonna use some more of those mini glue dots. Just gonna put a couple here. One I'm gonna actually stick the straw to. Okay, so see how cute that is? I love these. Love, love, love them. I seriously can't get enough of this bundle. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of just stick dimensional over those pieces that I stuck together just to kind of secure them together a little bit better. That's gonna go right here, kind of sliding off my layer. And then I have the Pecan Pie Center Stripe Ribbon. And we are gonna tie a bow with that. To add to the card.
right there. I think I need to trim a little bit more off. Okay, nothing's better than pumpkin season. Um, I don't love pumpkin spice, so I didn't do pumpkin spice. I think I'm going to add a little bit of detail with my white uniball. I did this last week when I made a cute cup. It just adds some... Cute little details, some little lines and dots. All right. So there is nothing's better than pumpkin season. Cute card, not the necessarily traditional colors. Let's see if I can flip you up. Ooh, flip you up and turn you over. Um, all right, so I hope you guys, now I'm like, which way to look because it's so weird when I'm this way. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this fun little card. Um, and just as a reminder, we have free shipping tomorrow only on all orders of $75 or more. You can use the link that I shared here in the video. It has a built-in host code. So when you place your order for that tomorrow, I'm gonna send you the supplies to make this adorable card. So you will wanna make sure that you have that uh, more than autumn bundle so that you can make this cute card. But you know what, even if you don't, these supplies are gonna make something else really, really cute. So I'm gonna send you a sample of that um, adhesive sheet so you can try that out, but I suggest you add it to your order anyway. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have fun tomorrow with free shopping, free shipping, I know I will. And just as a, another added thing, I mentioned that if you didn't get in on my card club, I reopened it just for today. Um, because I'm placing my card club order tomorrow with free shipping. <laughs> so I will drop that link in the video description as well. As long as you register today, you'll be able to get this adorable card class either in the mail or in person. You will make eight cards with this adorable bundle. That is four designs, two of each. You'll get amazing product in it. You'll get about $22 worth of product in your kit. Um, you're gonna love it. If you haven't tried my classes yet, you're gonna love it. So I really suggest you give it a try. Thank you guys so much and until next Tuesday, but I'll be seeing you in the ordering tomorrow for our free shipping special. You guys have a great night. Bye.